For many American kids, one of the best things about summer afternoons growing up was the celebratory trip to Dairy Queen. Those perfectly formed cones and blizzards filled with all sorts of goodness. All was right with the world. But DQ is definitely hiding some secrets, and it's entirely possible your family wouldn't have taken you there if they knew some of the following facts. Not ice cream. Sure, you call it ice cream and we're not going to tell you to stop. We will tell you that you're not entirely correct. According to Snopes, the truth is a little complicated. The FDA has rules in place about what can and can't be called ice cream, saying it has to have no less than 10% milk fat. There are a bunch of other rules, but basically DQ's soft serve doesn't have enough milk fat to be called ice cream. So it was originally referred to as ice milk. Since that doesn't sound nearly as good, the FDA allows products to be marketed with names like low-fat or light ice cream. So DQ isn't technically breaking any rules, but they're not serving you the real ice cream you might be expecting. Top Secret Recipe You've probably heard rumors about just how top secret KFC's fried chicken recipe is, and those rumors are true. Did you know DQ has a secret recipe too? It is kept what? in a safe deposit box. Really? There are only a few keys to it. As the basis for all their ice cream products, it's their most closely guarded secret. Not quite moderation. Today, DQ is more famous for their blizzards than their soft serve. According to Franchise Times, the candy-mixed blizzard hit the streets in 1985, with Heath, Mars, and Oreo all eventually joining the team. But in 2016, Reuters reported Mars was considering pulling M&Ms and other candies out of products like the blizzard. Their reasoning? These sugar-packed desserts went against the message of moderation they were trying to send to consumers. Very guilty pleasure. No one's expecting something healthy when they head to DQ for dessert, but it's still shocking just how bad some of their food and dessert items really are. Check out their nutritional information and you'll find that even picking up a medium blizzard is likely to set you back between 20 and 30 grams of fat and around 100 grams of sugar. Go for a large and you might be looking at up to 150 grams of sugar. If you've wondered what makes DQ's grill items taste so good, it's probably all the calories and fat. A side of chili cheese fries will set you back 51 grams of fat and 1,020 calories, while those breakfast biscuits and gravy are going to leave you filled up with 46 grams of fat and 720 calories. A guilty pleasure indeed. Food Poisoning Claims While you might expect to feel a little queasy after eating a large blizzard, you can also accept that it's your own fault. What's not your fault is when you're served something that makes you sick from the very first taste. In 2014, ABC Denver reported a seven-year-old boy was taken to the hospital after getting a DQ vanilla shake. Something was like bubbling on my kind of tongue. Bubbling on your tongue? Did it, was it burning? Yeah. It turns out an employee had accidentally put vanilla syrup in a bucket that was soaking in floor cleaner and degreaser solution. In 2017, a Texas man reportedly spent $20,000 on his emergency room visit after getting food poisoning from a moldy DQ burger. According to the Dallas Morning News, in spite of being offered a coupon for more DQ food, the man was planning on suing. Safety Problems DQ probably hopes you don't take a look at their track record with the health and safety inspector either, because on top of having violations, many stores have been completely shut down. According to Consumerist, DQ had the highest number of health and safety violations in the country in 2007, and Orlando locations averaged 13 violations per store. According to WSB-TV, multiple Georgia locations failed in 2016 because of things like mold buildup and improper food temps. According to CBS News, that same year, Florida health inspectors found live roaches living in a Temple Terrace DQ, and they were tipped off after people started complaining they were getting roaches in their soft serve. Of course, not all locations have these safety issues, so we'll just say, be sure to check those health and safety reports before you stop into DQ for a delicious treat. Thanks for watching. Click the mashed icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.